than a one level building. I mean, there's mm -hmm. more than one floor there. I don't really, I'm not really comfortable with that, but well, I. There, there will be a fire detection system, of course, up the code to uh, alarm system. And my understanding is right. if, there's, if there are folks held, uh, being held in the cells, and there is a uh, alarm, the cells are opened. Yeah, the, the dispatch would have them. They don't the need option. someone to come open them to allow, you know, people to exit the building. So, from that standpoint, it's a egress from the building, and the key, of course, is the detection to make sure all the detection systems there and it's integrated with the any boundary controls that are part of the the, the police department. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> Thanks, Mr. Dago. Lots of work going on over there. Appreciate it. My sh very short report. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, first meeting of the new year, and it's always exciting. We are, when, when the clock strikes midnight on New Year's Day, um, so starts the budget season <laughs> at Town Hall. And uh, we got right to work uh, the, the first minute we were open uh, in, in the new year. Of course, we've been building the budgets, but then they were kind of delivered to my office. And we're, we're reviewing them with department heads now, and uh, we'll have them for you at the beginning of the next month. Um, um, more on that to come and for the next several months, of course. Um, I, I couldn't have been more thrilled um, to be in attendance with Mrs. Hardy at her her classroom. Um, with, with, was that your contemporary issues class? Yes. Okay. And they do a mock Congress where they go uh, with Princeton students down to Washington, D.C., and they participate in this exercise as if they're in Congress. And they, they um, present bills, well thought out bills and arguments for and against. Um, they learn parliamentary procedure, and it is quite impressive to see these young men and women um, uh, representatives from East Lyme High School, from Mrs. Hardy's class, um, um, in action. And uh, a few of us were lucky enough to attend um, from the community, and they were just so darn impressive. Um, um, I, I, if, if this is the next generation coming through, we're in good hands. Um, and, and we have to know that there are, there are those kids that are focused and they are the leaders of tomorrow. And, and there they were right in front of us, uh, all 10 or 12 or 14 of them. And um, you obviously knew what you're doing. Done this before for a couple of decades, right? Times, right? Very good. I was really, I walked away. It was just on cloud nine it all night. It is pretty interesting that over the four days or four days that we're there, they spend over 32 hours in debate. Wow. Where Sounds like a board of finance <laughs> meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Good prep for future representatives. <laughs> if I only I had taken your class, I may have been better prepared for finance. <laughs> so, um, so well, thank, thank you. you for inviting me. No? It was really, um, it'll, uh, when I get to interact with students, it's always the highlight of the week anyway, but that, 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 that night will last a long time in my, in my heart and my memory. Well, um, thank Mr. Wonderful. Siri for attending as well, and <coughs> Mr. Cunningham. It was a pleasure. <coughs> Thanks Mr. Steele was there like as well, I think, right? Mm -hmm. So we um, swore in a new police officer today. We were able to get a, um, a spot in the academy where we can hire, we, we, and we had done some interviewing, uh, the police commission did, and uh, we have a, a fellow who would like to be a police officer, and we're going to put him in the academy. It starts Friday, and we only found out less than a week ago that we obtained one of these cherished and treasured mm -hmm. spots. So um, I met the gentleman today. His name is Philip Carrier. Mm -hmm. I believe he's from mm -hmm. Mystic. He is um, uh, got a young family. They got a little baby girl, maybe two, maybe three years old. She came. We had a little swearing-in ceremony here today. Great family, great support from both moms and and um, and this this fellow who's gonna you know he's never been a police officer before and um, and he's going through the academy for 22 weeks. He'll come back and do some uh, training for the rest of the year. It takes a whole year to be able to be an officer on your own um, but uh, he, he represents our future he represents you know he's young he's probably 30 at the very most and he'll you know he potentially will be here for two or three decades 
uh, serving our town and, and uh, representing the new and improved East Line Police Force. So uh, we're in good hands there as well. We've also put on some other officers that are lateral moves, which means they come from other departments. They've already had years and years of training uh, in, in service, and they choose to work here in East Line. We've become a very desirable town. Our police department's become very desirable to transfer into. Uh, we've had three transfers, I think, in the last year. Mm. Um, as, as officers have retired and moved on and mostly retired and one I think went to the state police uh, academy and one's moving away. Um, so th there's that and uh, we already mentioned the new fire marshal John Way. I can't wait for you to meet him. And uh, of course we're at the beginning of the year there's no, as I haven't been to any ex officio meetings but lots on the docket and lots on the to-do list. So looking forward to a great 2020 and a new decade in East Line. Any other comments? Usually from here, I think we go to delegations, don't we? Yep. Okay. Anybody like to speak? No comment from us, then. Move Motion to adjourn. adjourn. Second. And it's been seconded several times. So all in favor say aye. 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 Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you in a couple